Hi, I'm Curtis Brown. I'm with the Curtis Brown Foundation, and I am so honored to have one of our board members here, yes. Miss Amy Beth Griffin. It is great to be here. Man, it's great to have you here. Thank you. So, um, I guess we could say the singer and the soldier. I know. I think that that should be a song title. I gotta, I gotta work through that a little bit. See what I well, can flesh out. You know out. what? God says that my people perish because of lack of vision. There's, you a, there, just gave there's me you vision. a hint. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I, as a matter of fact, I was going to talk to you about that sometime today, anyway. But that's okay. <laughs> it is very good to be here. It's it's good I, to have you here. Uh, just how God brings things together, and and He uses trials and tribulations to build character. He does. And to He uses that to transform us, and that's what He's done and brought about the Curtis Brown Foundation. I love it. I, uh, it has been a privilege and it has been a joy just to uh, learn more and more about your story over the past few decades, how God completely rebuilt your life, how he healed you, what he did uh, with your family, and then to be here today to talk I about I wish I had a picture doing. of my neck and we would and my lower spine and we'd say, uh, yeah, he rebuilt me all he right. Re he rebuilt you. <laughs> That's right. Bone by bone. That's, That's right. Sad. Those are some crazy x-rays. But that shows um, God can walk us through anything and anything. give us a purpose again. Amen. And, and I think purpose leads to hope and hope leads to salvation. Amen. And that's our goal. That is that is the goal. And, um, you know, I love the fact that uh, through everything, God had a plan for you to reach out through your experience because of what he did for you and then extend that hope to our veterans and their families. That's right. That's what moves the needle for me. That's why That's why I'm here. I am not a veteran. <laughs> I am not a healthcare provider. I know nothing about war or about medicine, but I do know that Jesus heals. He's, he's healed me. I've seen what he's done in your life. Right. I've seen what he's done in the lives of others who, you know, the world said would never be healed. Mm -hmm. And, um, I, I'm just so excited for where he's taking the Curtis Brown Foundation. Oh, it, it is exciting, and it's just a journey that, uh, you know, if you had asked me five years ago, I would have said, it's over. Yeah. You know, my marriage I thought was over, my life I thought was over because of 18 years of addiction to opioids and psych meds, and uh, also the 18 major surgeries. Yeah. So, but, but God. Right, yeah. Oh, God, God restored my me. He re physically, spiritually, um, emotionally restored my marriage. And, That's what he does. And uh, said, "Finish now. It's time to write the book." Yeah. And so we wrote the book. God is bigger. And then along come uh, come beside me was uh, David Gregory, New York Times best-selling author. Said, "I want to help you write your story." Love it. And so if you want to learn more as you're, you're contemplating and going, what is this story about? I encourage you to go on Amazon or you can go to our webpage, curtisbrown.org, C-U-R-T-I-S-B-R-O-W-N, and yes, I spelled you it correctly. spelled it right. Dot org. Got it. Well done. So, so click on there and actually on there on our webpage is my, a picture of my book, God is Bigger. You can click on the Amazon th site. It'll take you directly to one of Amazon's best reads. God is bigger. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's an amazing story. Uh, restoration, restored hope, restored families, restored health. That's right. It's, it's an amazing journey, um, and you know it's a, it's really as it as difficult I know because we've talked about it a lot, and is you know just gut wrenching as it was when you were walking through this. Would you say that it's worth it on the other side to be able now to extend I, that out to others? I couldn't see it any other way. Yeah, it's it? it, it's kind of like becoming a father. Yeah. When, when Micah was born, it's like, I don't know life without I him. I get it. I, I, I totally understand. And all of a sudden it's like, aha, this is what it was all for. This right. is what it was meant and for. And part of that story and was the doctors told me if I had a child because of the chemicals I was exposed to in the Middle East, he would either be deformed or I wouldn't be able to have children at all. And I have a son that's almost 14 years old on yeah, July 30th. Absolutely. Wow. It's, I know, it's, it's amazing. And really the reason that, um, that I'm so excited about the foundation is that it allows me, someone who doesn't have the same point of reference as you do, uh, to help those that have served our country, those that have been sent all over the world um, you know, they're, they're doing, I, I always say they're going only God knows where, doing only God knows what for me on, on my behalf. And then so many of them come home 
and you know their lives are 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 over in their own minds they're addicted they're in pain they're broken their families are gone you know they come back here and instead of you know living into the fullness of what god created them to do they come back and they've got nothing to show for the service for me that's heartbreaking i um you know i know why you have a heart for veterans they're your tribe right, right those, those right. are your people on the surface you know it's kind of like well why does you know a, a female rock singer from katie texas want to be involved with the curtis brown foundation but that is why it's because you guys and gals you know you've left everything in order to to make my life better and this is the way by serving through this by being here today by telling you guys about what amazing things God is doing through the Curtis Brown Foundation. You know, that's how I can help. And I get jazzed over that. I'm excited about that because I have seen what God can do. And I know that God is no respecter of persons. That's right. Right? I'm a, I'm a breast cancer survivor. I know God heals. Um, and you know, I've seen, I, I, I've seen you. I, you know, I, I know what he's done for you. And he wants to do that for you. Um, you know, if you are a veteran, if you are the loved one of a veteran, um, this foundation is to, is to help you. This guy right here, he wants to serve you. First and foremost, because he wants to serve God. He knows what Jesus has done for him and he knows what Jesus can do for you. And that's why I'm here. My point of reference is Jesus. I know that he changes everything. Amen. But if you need help, we want you to reach out. We, we are here to serve. If you are a provider, talk a little bit about the people that God has put on your team. Right. It's, it's amazing. I, I sit here and I think, and the first thing that kept on coming back to my mind is, had, it, had I not had outside health care, yeah. I wouldn't be here yeah, today. Yeah, absolutely. You've said that so, over and over. And, um, Unfortunately, we have a VA system that is overwhelmed. Uh, so what we, we have a lot of people slipping through the cracks. Um, they uh, medicated and medicated and medicated me yeah. with opioids and psych, psych drugs for almost 20 years. They told me I'd never get off of this stuff. And God said different. And so he gave me, he, he took a mess and gave me a message. And that was through God is bigger. And so what, through, through this message, it's uh, who he is, what he wants to do in your life, and he uses different things to help us overcome yeah, situations absolutely. in life, whether it be health care. So now we have Memorial Herman, who has teamed up with us directly. Oh, A lot, my rest, rebuilding my neck, literally rebuilding my entire neck, literally. and my lumbar spine, was at Memorial Hospital's medical system years ago. That's awesome. And yeah. so uh, now the doctors throughout, me the, a lot of them that work, not just through Memorial Hermann, whether they're, I've got them from ENTs all the way to neurosurgeons yes. that have come together and said, we want to team up with Coach yes. Brown Foundation to help. So that's what we're helping. We've we got health care that we're providing. Both traditional and alternative that's right. medicine. So we have yin yang acupuncture also, which is in Houston, Texas. Miss Betsy is amazing. I've gone to her for now for four years. Yeah. And through the acupuncture and she helps me with herbs and natural herbs and, and even muscle massage, medical muscle massage therapy. Through these things, I'm able to function and maintain and med free. Yeah, that's and and you never thought that was possible. I never thought it you was told well, you were told that that would, would never be possible. Happen. It's I was amazing. Told it would never happen by neurosurgeons too from yeah. the VA system. Yeah. So, so now we have acupuncturists, we have chiropractors, we have and counseling was a key component that yes. we lacked too. Yes. So we were frustrated because we didn't have the medical care, proper medical care. We didn't have uh, alternative medicine that, and we didn't have the counseling. So what have we got? Now we have Matt Barnhill, Christian Counseling and Associates. I love it. That has teamed up with us too. Thank you to Matt. Yeah, thank you to Matt. And so um, so now we can, we can handle the physical, the spiritual, the emotional, 
we have churches. Churches. Sugar Creek Baptist Church, Sugarland, Texas. Yes. Where we have our Battlefield Connection Connect groups. So I'm going to let you lead on this part about in encouraging pastors to get in touch with us. Yes. If you are a pastor of, of in, you know, we've mentioned we are here in the Houston area, um, but if you're watching this video and you're in Wisconsin or on the West Coast or South Carolina, no matter where you are, this is a replicable model. The, the things that, that God has brought you through, the people he's surrounding you with, any community can pick up on what you're doing. That's right. And so if you are a pastor uh, anywhere listening to this message and you have a large veteran population in, within your congregation, if you have active military uh, near your congregation and you would love to find out more about these Battlefield Connection groups, reach out to us. Any information that our board members, that, that Curtis has, that information is at your disposal. Our goal is to help all veterans Anywhere, right? right? What we say, right. any war, any, any, any time, any place, any right? Place. That's yeah. what any we say. Any war, any time, time any, any place. place. That's, so that's we, what we, we say. We're covering all of it. So, yeah, so if you're out there and, and you're not in the Houston area, this does not, this does not disclude you. You are included in uh, the people we would love to bring into the circle. Um, these are uh, sometimes, you know, different churches call them life groups, different churches call them small groups, things of that nature. These are connection groups and they're for veterans so that they can hang out with other veterans that have been through similar experiences and grow in God together. That's right. They can, they can heal together. They can have hope by looking and seeing that, A, there are other people in their situation. Right. You've told me that isolation is a big, big deal oh, yes. within it's the huge. community. It is huge. And isolation le leads to desperation, and desperation leads to a very dark place. Yes. So if you are a pastor, if you are an elder, if you are a leader within uh, your local church, and you are interested in finding out more about uh, how these uh, connection groups are forming, what they're studying, what the goals are, please reach out to us because we do have other pastors who would be happy to share that information with you. Curtis can tell you exactly how all of that formation started and where it's going. And I um, can help you because God has put us put us here. I love the story of Esther for such a I time know, as this. For such a time to as bring this. together this model, a model that hasn't been created before. Exactly. You have the church, you have the medical community, which Memorial Hermann is the largest medical community in, in the Houston in area. In Houston, that's right. And then, then you have the businesses all coming together to put boots on the ground to make a difference in our veterans' lives. Because here's the reality. If a veteran's struggling, his family's struggling. Amen. If his family's struggling, the community's struggling. That's exactly and right. It's, it's, um, I think about the mission statement my wife Heather came up with, fighting for those who, who fought, fought for us. us. Yeah. This is your opportunity. It is. So, and, and I, this is a, a time to bring this up. If you could make a difference in a veteran's life, which they're what I just said, would make a difference in their family and in community. For $5 a month, would you do that? Would you, Amy? I would totally do that. Absolutely. So this is an opportunity. You can go to curtisbrown.org. Mm -hmm. You can have it taken out every month where you, where you don't have to worry about it. Just $5 a month. Encourage your friends. Encourage your families. And I want to even go a little deeper. For, like Amy said, if you're across the country and you're wanting to replicate this model that God has used us to create, that he's created working through us, mm -hmm. I want to say. That's, the, that's so, accurate. Um, and you want me to come and visit with you and visit with your leaders. Hey, I would love to. Mm. Just reach out to me, curtisbrown.org, and uh, send me a message. I will get back to you. Amy can verify. She, she can vouch for that. He will. He can talk. <laughs> yeah, she has to speak up when my wife's not present. <laughs> <laughs> the, there are other ways that, that you can support the foundation as well. If you go to the website, you can learn the backstory. I and mean, we've touched on just the fact that uh, there was uh, addiction, there was physical healing that had to take place, mm -hmm. there was relational healing that had to take place right. for you. If you want to hear the whole story, because there's more, and, and if you think you've been through it, um, this guy's story will really encourage you, because he has been through it. And because God is bigger, which is the name of the, name book, of the book, that he's here today. And um, you can buy the book, 
on the website, Amazon bestsellers list, yep. right? Yep. Um, it's a great book. It's a quick read. It's anecdotal, but it will give you so much hope. Um, t-shirts. Yeah, you can, you buy can a go t-shirt. on our webpage and we have a call to duty t-shirt. Yeah. And so we are called to duty and we are ambassadors for Christ. Amen. And that's what the, the scripture on there. And also, you want to learn, hear stories, or if you want to be on one of our shows, we have Beyond the Battlefield weekly video series. Yes. Stories of people, your story of overcoming cancer, how God walked you through. Absolutely. The, the journey of overcoming cancer um, and several other and stories. Inspiring, inspiring stories. Inspiring stories. Yes. And then we also have uh, B, uh, Battlefield Connections, which is our radio show, weekly radio show that airs Sunday evenings at 6 Central Standard Time on KKHT 100.7. Also, it's on iHeart also, KKHT 100.7 FM, The Word. You can also go to kkht.com and on Sunday evenings at 6, click on Listen Live. Absolutely. Here are many stories of overcoming. You know, even uh, John Snyder, a.k.a. Yes, Bo Duke. Bo Duke. Absolutely. So, uh, sharing his story. Uh, guys, if you want to share your story, reach out to me. Email me, or you can email me through the foundation webpage, curtisbrown.org. Order your T-shirt there. All the funding goes to our community. It does. Um, also, order the book. The funding, the, the profits off the book go to, to the foundation to help the community. And the same with your donations. Alone we're one, but together we're a mighty army for God. Amen to that. Absolutely. So, guys, once again, if you could help somebody for $5 a month, do it. You know, and encourage others to do it. If you want me to come share what, how, what God did, put on my heart, and how he led me to create this model. Yeah. And he surrounded me with the amazing team like you and all of our other board members. Oh my goodness! It's you know, it's um, amazing. Just, uh, I, I would be honored to come share with you how God gave me the vision, has given me provision, and as a matter of fact, as I'm talking about that, I'm really studying the book of Nehemiah right now. And so, guys, I want to help you help our veterans. Absolutely. So when you're help your vet, helping our veterans, you're helping their their wives or their husbands and their children and their family. It's not just one person. Guys, team up with us. Team up the Curtis Brown Foundation. Order God is Bigger. When you read that book, you're going to understand why God has me doing what I'm doing. Amen. So we can make a difference together. I think of the quote from the radio show. Though we may not be in the same war, we are all on the same battlefield called life. That's right. And guys, we're looking for connections. So yes. Pastors, reach out to Reach us. out. Yes. Yeah, I would love to share with you how God put this on my heart and how you could be involved and we can help you grow this ministry. It's, uh, I think of, you know, here, I want to share with you my biggest struggle was saying the Curtis Brown Foundation because it's not about me. Yeah. But it's about our stories matter to others and to God. They do matter. And, and again, God is no respecter of persons. What he has done for Curtis, what he has done for me, what he has done for the individuals that you know you will hear on the radio program or see in the Battlefield Connections uh, web series, he wants to do it for you. And you know, Curtis's foundation is one of the tools that he's provided. If you are a veteran or the loved one of a veteran and you need help, please reach out to us. Um, his heart is to help you. My heart is to see you transformed and healed and going out and living the testimony that God put you here on the earth to do. And um, that moves the needle for us. That's what gets us excited. That's why we're here today. Amen. So if you need help or you're willing to help in any capacity, please reach out to us and let us know. We would love to give you more information and uh, we would love to have you on the team. That's right, or even on the show. Yeah. Go to curtisbrown.org. Before I go, I had to have a young man in here that I met while he was reading my book, God is Tim. Reading. And uh, uh, Tim Brink, who happens to be my official camera guy and uh, videographer, editor, slash everything. Baylor Tim Bear Brink. extraordinaire. Boomer yeah, Sooner. Yeah, sick him. No, you get out of here. <laughs> Boomer Sooner's in the bottom of this yeah. room, okay? As you We've can see, we are very diverse. No, we are diverse. <laughs> <laughs> we are diverse. You know, sometimes enemies are able to come together. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> for a common goal. Oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah. That's right. Always so, Tim, goal. Tim joined our team. Uh, it was an honor to have him film. First time we filmed, I want to give a shout out to a great guy. Yes. A great patron here in the Houston area. 
Mattress Mac. Jim McAvell, thank you. Furniture. Yes. Thank you for allowing us to film at your place and your gallery furniture in Richmond off of uh, Grand Parkway, in 90, and which is 99. 99. For, some people know it by 99, some other Grand Parkway. All the same. Yeah, that's it's right. all the same. So, guys, you know what? Jim supports our community in such an amazing way. I encourage you to go and support Gallery Furniture because know that he, in return, just like the Courage Brown Foundation, is giving back to the community. Yes, he does. He serves in so many ways. Some, some that we see, many, uh, many, many ways don't. that you never see. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So, we have Tim who filmed for me the first time at Mattress, <laughs> with yeah. Mattress Max Place, and it was an yeah. honor to have you there. Thank you. It's an honor to be a part of this. Um, you know, I've just been th thinking about my time while I've been serving with you, Curtis. Um, you know, if you asked me at the end of last year where I would be in March, I would say, I've, I have no idea. <laughs> um, you know, if, if I can be a little bit transparent about what I was going through at that point in my life, um, as short, you know, as, it was really actually short, short time um, before right now, but um, I didn't really know where I was going with my life. And um, unfortunately, I was doubting the Lord. I didn't really believe that he had my best interests at heart. Um, I just kind of felt like I was abandoned. I felt like, you know, others were prospering and then I was just stuck in a place of suffering. But um, it can just take one person to honestly completely change things and suddenly move them all in the right direction. Mm. And from one session of filming with Curtis back in January, you know, now it's May and almost June, and we're still doing this. And yeah. now I'm officially part of the Curtis Brown Foundation. And I get to be a part of yes. sharing your story. Um, and, and sharing your story. Exactly. And, you know, again, that's, that's what God is doing with Curtis's story. Is It's not just about him, but he's using it for so much more. You know, God was able to use Curtis's story and um, the goal of the foundation, and that cascaded into my life and now it's added purpose and um, happiness and joy into my life because now I get to be a part of the Curtis Brown Foundation and help veterans. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's what, it's a team, right? It is. It, is it's, a team. it collectively just continues to grow and this team gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And by doing that, we're able to just reach out and help so many more people. So many more people. And that's why we want you to join our team. Yes. And I, I'm glad you just brought that to, to our attention, Tim, because it reminded me so much about how God has moved me from the battlefield, whether it be in Iraq, Kuwait, in that area, in the Middle East, to a new battlefield of helping our veterans, helping our communities, yes. because when, I, when we help a veteran, we're helping a family, Amen. and we're helping community. That's yeah. right. That's so, right. Absolutely. If you're a pastor, team up with us. If uh, you, you know, even if, if you want me to come speak at a high school and share with your students, um, Team up with us. Guys, Yeah, I would love to come share God's story through my life with you, but also share how you can replicate this model in your community, and I will help you in every way I can to make that happen. Guys, yes, we, we love you. Yes, we but do. more than anything, Jesus loves you. Yeah. Team up with Curtis Brown Foundation. Go to curtisbrown.org, order your Call to Duty t-shirt, <laughs> order your God, God is Bigger book, and once you read the book, you're going to know you're going to see your story. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, absolutely. We love you. We do love you. And have a blessed you. day. Thank you.